Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. And if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So in this reading, if you have no contact, no communication with your person here, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to do an energy checking on this person. Here, but this is someone who's thinking very, very highly of you. They're seeing you as this entire package. This person could be wanting a new beginning here as well with the Empress. Nine of Cups here. Yeah, some sort of wish fulfillment. This is how this person is seeing you. Also, not to mention this person wants to feel happy. It's like that energy of someone who wants to feel happy, content, and good again. No, uh, and also, the Nine of Cups is literally the wish fulfillment, right? So, the Empress, that's a form of wish fulfillment for sure here. For some of you, it's very possible this person, you know, they... They either underestimated your value or they knew your value, but they still were someone who was refusing, um, you know, like just someone who, who just was not ready or who didn't want to be in a commitment. It could have been a, a selfish energy from this person's side. Wow, look at that, the Empress and the Emperor, you hardly have any cards, you have just three cards, an Empress and Emperor here, this is someone who definitely sees you as their soulmate and as their true match here, they know you are the match, you match their energy like no one else can, you compliment them like no one else can, and this person definitely sees you as a wish fulfillment, and even though at one point this person might not have given you the commitment they have wanted, it's very possible for some of you because you're the empress. The empress is like someone who has a lot of options, right? And again, I'm not saying you're indulging in options, but the empress is the kind of energy who does have options. The empress, um, that's the energy of the empress. So, because she's the entire package, right? So, of course, people want to be with her. Again, gender doesn't matter in tarot. Everything is energy. So because it's, it's very possible for some of you, because this person sees you as someone who has a lot of options or is getting attention from others, for some of you, you could be getting attention from others, which is what is making this person sort of feel a certain way and they want to just approach you, they want to come towards you. They don't want to be left out. So that, that's the energy I'm getting, they don't want to be left out. This person definitely feels like you, you are the kind of person, you are strong, you are loyal, you are grounded, you are someone with whom they can build and have a future here. nine of wands here yeah even if that that's the energy even though this person was aware that like they saw your value they saw you 
they saw your worth here they knew what you meant to them but still this person was very very defensive here for some of you this person thinks that you're not the kind of person who gives up easily you know you you are not the person who will give up easily on a connection or something you're working on you want we you will not give up easily also nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so nine of cups nine of wands and nine of pentacles nine 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 not not to mention the nine of pentacles is the pre-empress energy so again the empress energy repeated twice here very empathic who cares about others a lot as well like this is uh, this is this person thinking very very highly of you they know that you fight for what is right you fight for what you truly believe in you you don't give up easily you have a lot of empathy and a lot of compassion for others for some of you this person does have a lot of romantic feelings for you as well because we do have the knight of cups but here's the thing with the nine of wands and the emperor even though this person has a lot lot of romantic feelings for you they would that they were still running away from this they were not giving to this they just they were choosing to uh, like it's someone who's choosing to not give to this connection someone who's choosing to not open their heart here but some of you right now this person is trying to they see you as a wish fulfillment this is the contradictory energy here they see you as a form of wish fulfillment but at the same time this person is trying to control their emotions here they are trying to make sure they don't become overly emotional for some of you this person is trying to focus on their finances as well you know uh, because this is someone who's just afraid to open their heart and feel things this is someone who's just afraid to feel the, uh, this strong connection because we do have the emperor and the empress this is a very strong connection this person is afraid to feel that they're afraid of some sort of change as well here with the uh, death uh, at the bottom of, of the deck. For some of you, this person could be just imagining that this is over between the both of you. Like they're trying to tell themselves that this might be over. This might be done between the both of you here. May, uh, maybe this was not meant to happen. It's like someone who's making excuses as to why they are not coming towards you. Why they are not making a move towards you. They are just making excuses here. Because this person, when it comes to the feelings, they want to take some action. But that ego, that uh, that feeling scared, that energy, you know, it, it just comes to the forefront. And that's what this person is indulging in. They're much more indulging in those fears. Like, this cannot happen. I can't do this. I, I don't know. Uh, that's the kind of energy this person is indulging in rather than just giving in to those feelings and doing what their heart wants. This person is trying to not listen to their heart. defensiveness here seven and nine of wands here it's like this person is protecting them so for some of you um yeah th that's the thing here with the six of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck this person can't walk away from you they can't move on from you they feel this connection they feel you they see you as some sort of wish fulfillment they see they have a lot of empathy compassion and feelings for you they want to do something here this person is motivated by their feelings to do something here but at the same time this person is like they, they are refraining from doing anything with the seven of wands and the nine of wands they're trying to stand their ground and just trying to be defensive. This is a lot of defensiveness from this person's side here.
there's a very i want to do this but wait hold on that's the kind of energy too contradictory energy when it comes to this person oh yeah they are stalking you keeping an eye on you the page of swords i think the page of swords was at the bottom of the deck when i started uh, when i was cutting the deck or started shuffling the deck here yeah look at that fool this person wants a fresh start their heart wants to take that leap of faith they have been stalking you they are keeping an eye on you because they can't get over you they cannot walk away from you they cannot move on but at the same time this person is just trying to uh, use work as a form of distraction or they are very very defensive here look at that seven and nine of wands this person could be planning their future they are planning where they want to be what they want to do where they want to go that's the kind of energy here it's like someone who is uh, planning things or using anything at all to use a form of distraction for some of you this is just strongly this person using work as a form of distraction or plans for the future i want to travel this place i want to go there and do this that's the kind of energy like this person is someone who's just planning and planning because it it's the way of engaging their mind so that their mind doesn't go towards you so that they have their mind under control this person is trying to keep their mind under control here Aquarius. So they know this is a wish fulfillment, but it's still like running away, running away from what they are feeling. Because it's just that that's what this person knows. It's easier for them to do this. Ten of Wands came out in reverse position, and the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, see, remember how I said like this person, the the reason this person, uh, it's, it's like they they are feeling a little bit of restless kind of energy, or the the reason this person is seeing you as a form of wish fulfillment here, because this person, yeah, they feel like you have options here with the Seven of Cups. You do have a lot of options, or do you do have people wanting your attention? Because you are the Empress. The Empress never runs out of options. The Empress will have. people wanting their uh, her attention and that's the energy of the empress she is the divine feminine energy so she will attract a lot of masculine energy right so this is how this person feels like they feel you are this was a very overburdening connection and you have let go of the burden if you at any point you were chasing this person or you were overthinking a lot about this person or you were very very stressed about what's going to happen next in this connection or what's not going to happen whatever like you were very stressed you were very overburdened for some of you you were the one who was putting the weight of the connection when you were in a relationship or in a connection with this person because this was someone who was emotionally very closed off or they did they refused to be emotional so you were the one who felt the pressure to maintain this connection to pull this connection uh, forward to make sure that it's actually moving you know that that's the kind of energy i'm getting from the 10 of wands but you have let go you have let go of any sort of stressful energy you have let go of overthinking you have let go of any sort of um overburdening energy that was there like you are in that energy of if this if you are uh, this is the energy like if this person is not taking a responsibility for this connection if they don't want to behave responsibly responsibly or take the responsibility of this connection why should i be doing why should i be the one who is pulling the weight of this connection why should i keep over investing or being over emotional or over extending myself 
So you are holding back with the strength here. Again, on the strength card, we have the Empress. So you are definitely holding back from this person. You're not giving to this person. And you could be focused on other things. I'm not saying you're focused on other opportunities or other potential options, but you are focused on other things here with the Seven of Cups. There might be competition here. That's what this person feels. They see you as someone who has options or they feel like you have competition. For some of you, there has been a lot of uh, arguments or fights between the both of you here. We have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. There has been a lot of arguments and fights and you are just in that energy of um, you're not giving into con conflict anymore. You're not. This person sees you as someone who has let go. You are not going to fight with them. You're not going to try to convince them to do something. You're not. It's like that energy of you just let them be. And you're in that energy of whatever you want to do, you choose. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not even going to push you to do something. I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to ask you to uh, be in a commitment with me, be in a relationship with me. I'm not going to ask you to... I'm not going to ask you to do any of that. Neither am I going to sit here and overthink and feel overburdened about this. So whatever you want to do, you do. You do. and effort into things that make sense you want to put time and effort into uh, anything that is going to bring you results in the future you want to invest in something invest in a connection invest in a relationship that brings results for the future so yes you do want to invest with this person you do want to invest in this connection but if you are the only one who's investing then what kind of results are you're going to get here so you're holding back with the four of pentacles Yes, you want to invest, you want to be with this person and you want to grow with this person and have a future with this person. But at the same time, what's the point if they are not doing the same thing? So you're holding back, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart for some of you as well because look at that, how closely he's holding this pentacle uh, in front of his heart chakra, right? Queen of Cups. Mm. You still have a lot of empathy and compassion for this person. If this person feels this connection with the Knight of Cups, if they have emotions, you have emotions and feelings as well here. But and you are very sensitive. When it comes to this person, you are very sensitive. You could be very intuitively connected to this person as well here. But again, that energy of holding back, protecting your heart because your heart has been hurt here. You're doing, you're not exactly just listening to your heart. For some of you in the past, you just listened to your heart when it came to this connection or this person. But you're not just listening to your heart. You're trying to uh, be rational about things as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, you you are showing a lot of discipline and you are in control here. Look at that four of swords. You are in control. You're also like you for some of you you're just taking a break from this connection or together you're just trying to not think about it. You're just trying to heal yourself, reflect and clear your head and reflect upon whatever happened here between the both of you. You're just trying to clear your head space, heal and keep moving forward keep looking forward instead of constantly overthinking about what this person is doing will this person come back you are not trying to overthink about that as at all yes you do care about this person you do have some deep emotions for this person with the queen of cups but again what do you do if the other person doesn't want you if the other person does not want to open their heart you can't just keep you can't beg for something right so that's what you are doing if they don't want to open their heart, if they don't want to be with you, what can you do? You just have to keep looking forward. And yes, you still might have emotions for this person, but you have to keep looking forward. For some of you, emotionally, you feel very, very confused when it comes to this person. You just feel very confused. You just don't understand why this person wouldn't open up. You know they have feelings for you. They have shown signs that they, have, they care about you. They have feelings for you. They have been romantic with you. But then they just don't open up. Then they just don't want to be in a commitment. Or then they just don't want to indulge in those emotions. So you do, you feel very confused. You don't know what to think about this person when it comes to your emotions. It doesn't make sense here. This person's actions or this person's energy doesn't make sense to you. Queen of Pentacles, sorry, King of Pentacles, and now we have the Queen of Pentacles here. You want to have a family, you want to have a future with someone who wants to have a future with you. You are again that energy of um, look at that Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. You being pra practical here, you want clarity, you want truth, you want this person to confess how they truly feel, you want them to give you clarity whether they want to be with you or they, they don't want to be with you at all, then it's like you want this person to give you the clarity, you want this person to tell you the truth so that you decide whether you should move on from this person completely or whether you should think about this. Because you want to be happy. With the Ten of Cups, you want to be happy. You want to be surrounded by people who makes you truly happy. You want to have a strong foundation. You want to have a support system. And you feel like this person isn't doing any of that. And for some of you, you are looking for commitment. You're looking for the Ten of Pentacles kind of commitment because you you are ready for that. You're ready for that marriage. You're ready for a family. You're ready for that. But if this person is not giving you that, then they should give you the clarity at least so that you can move on, so that you can let this go. You want clear-cut communication from this person's side. For some of you, you already know that this person is stalking you. You know how they feel about you. You know they are obsessed about you. They care about you. You know all of that. You know they are collecting information or they are keeping an eye on you, however they are. You know all of that. But that, that's not enough. They need to give you the clarity. Complete truth here. Because that's going to help you make a decision. Because you're ready for commitment. You're ready to open your heart and have a equal give and take kind of a relationship that's not just not just the ten of pentacles but the ten of cups kind of relationship and you do see the potential with this person ten of cups is feeling loved supported emotional fulfillment spiritual fulfillment that's the kind of energy and the ten of pentacles is stable future you want the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles kind of a connection and a relationship you're ready for that and you see the potential with this person but again, you can't build that Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles all by yourself. 
So either they give you the clarity and tell you what they want or this is, this is going to be uh, something that's lost in time. Well, they want your attention for sure. Remember, I said like you're getting attention from other options. That is what is really bothering this person. So yes, they want your attention. They really do with the six of wands. Seven of swords. Nine of Pentacles, which is your energy again. There's that energy. This person is trying to fool themselves. I want Libra's attention. I want. I don't want Libra to look at other options. I don't want Libra to give to other options. I don't want Libra to move on. Libra is just perfect with the Nine of Pentacles. Libra has everything got going for themselves. Because again, remember this is the pre-Empress energy. So this is your energy. This is your card here. Libra has everything got going for themselves. Libra is perfect. Libra is, is, is just... Who doesn't want to be with Libra? And I do want to be with Libra, but I'm still running. I'm still running with the Seven of Swords. I'm still running away from myself. I'm still running away from what I truly want. I'm still running away from my feelings and emotions. I want this, but I'm still running away from this. Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles here. This is what this person wants. Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. Right, this is you. The Nine of Pentacles is you. And once you offer this Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, it becomes the Ten of Pentacles here. So for some of you, this is what I'm getting here. This person might just come back and try to test the waters with you. Look at that. Hierophant and Ten of Pentacles is literally commitment. This person deep down wants that. But they are, they are still running away from their own feelings. They are still trying to fool themselves. I don't know what's the point of it, but they are trying to fool themselves. So this person, for some of you, they might come back to test the waters here. Just come back as like, hey, this is what's going on with my life. Uh, I wonder what's going on with your life. Or I saw that you were doing something. I heard that you were doing something. I heard that you were doing well in life. So how it's going, that's the kind of a thing. Come in very casually here. Just to test the waters, just to find more information as to whether you have actually found someone else or, you know, like this person will try to come back in and try try to find more information. The kind of in information they can't find online or they can't find asking someone else. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't really share your private life a lot, then this person doesn't have access to that information. They don't know what's going on with your heart, right? So this person might come in as a sort of uh, like testing the waters, just trying to talk to you, just trying to see what's going on with your life here. And then they will try to ask you questions or try to get information about what's going on in your life. Do you have someone new? Are you interested in someone new? Do you have feelings? Are you looking for some option here? Is, is there someone you're particularly interested in? That's the kind of information this person will try to get from you. person this is also what i'm getting which is so funny because oh bottom of this deck we did have a six of wands here it's strange and they want to be successfully in your life but they don't want they're not ready for commitment they are still running away from that i forgot what i was going to say It's that energy of this person. 
they know someday they will be ready for commitment they know it they know someday they will be ready for commitment someday they will be ready to be with you that day is not today but they don't want you to leave right because if you're gone who's going to who are they going to have this commitment with Five of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Justice in reverse at the bottom of the deck. See, whatever this person was up to or whatever they were doing, they're, they're, or whatever they're doing right now by not giving you clarity, by, you know, it's, it's like this person wants to have you for their future, but right now they're not ready for it. Right now they're not ready for commitment. They're not ready to open up. This is not the right thing to do. This is not how you treat someone. Unfortunately, I'm sorry I have to put it this way, but this is not how you treat someone. You don't emotionally abandon someone and they just try to come back and test the waters and be friends with them or just have their attention momentarily. No, that's not what you do. You have a lot of empathy and compassion, Queen of Cups. And that's the reason why you might have been emo emotionally abandoned, not just by this person, other, other uh, emotional Sorry, other romantic partners as well. You might have been abandoned more than once, emotionally abandoned more than once by romantic partners as well in the past. Stand up for yourself. Have very strong boundaries here. Seven of Wands and the Justice. Stand up for yourself. Have very, very strong boundaries. Don't let people back in your life who's not going to give you, who's not telling the truth, who doesn't want to have the, the Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles, right? Who cannot give you any clarity, who cannot give you what you truly deserve or what you truly want, commitment. Don't, don't let those people back in your life. You have to stand up for yourself. You cannot be emotionally that vulnerable and gullible to romantic partners at all times. You cannot be. Fight for yourself. Because you have to. Because you have been done wrong. Fight for yourself. Friend, I'm going to try to get some messages from this deck. Oh, look at that. I, I get so jealous when I see you getting attention from others. I hate that you have so many options. Look at that. I want to tell you I love you. I understand everything clearly now. Can we just stop fighting and talk peaceful resolution? This was in reverse. All right. Yeah, look at that. I want to listen to your voice, but I don't want to talk. Okay. I want to listen to your voice, but I don't want to talk. Radio silence, yeah. They miss you. Also, bottom of the deck is I want to be. I know it's silly to want to be with you, but be scared at the same time. What else? Maybe all of this is just in my head because you're too good to be true. You are the empress, of course. Again, that uh, this person could have some low self esteem. This, uh, yeah, see. I'm making some solid plans for a future, but it will take some time. Please wait. This person is not ready for commitment now. They want to be in a commitment, but in the future. Right now? No, they are not. Yeah, someday we are going to have a family together. Remember how I said this person is not ready for today, in the future, but not today. Someday. I'm trying to get your attention. Is it working? Yeah, this person could be like stalking you, suddenly liking one of your pictures, or suddenly you see this person... This person could be doing something to get your attention or they might try to come back and get your attention one way or other. Well, that's your reading, uh, Libra. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.